happy Friday! That means weekend's coming up and we have our uh, lab, cadaver lab today. And it's gonna be the last lab until next semester. Yay! We were supposed to go on retreat today, but it got canceled because of the fires. So that's understandable, but I'm so sad. Now I have nothing to do. <laughs> My dad made me espresso. Thanks, Daddy. Ooh, I think I just burned all the little thingies on my tongue. So our prompt for today is name a popular opinion or trend that you don't agree with. Something that everyone has been doing in 2017 that I don't quite understand is those big eyebrows with really, really sharp corners right here. I mean, you only have so much forehead space and so when you draw like those big ass eyebrows, you're kind of messing up your brow to forehead ratio it's just kind of hard to not look at when you talk to someone another trend that i haven't quite caught on to is <laughs> those jeans with big ass holes for your knees i saw this girl at school who literally had a hole from the uh, pant pocket and it was just a big rectangle going all the way down to her ankles why don't you just wear shorts Mine would probably have to be, sorry to say it boys, bow ties. Like, okay, some people can rock it, I will say that. But the majority of guys who try to wear it cannot rock it. I think the big thing is short guys. Short guys should never wear bow ties. It just accentuates how short you are because then you see like where your shirt is cut off by your pants, whereas the tie kind of like elongates your body. So stick with the tie, short men. But it doesn't matter what I don't like or like, you know. If you love bow ties, you wear them bow ties. Just know I'm silently judging you. Just kidding. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Today is the last day of school. I'm so excited. I hated this quarter so much. I'm probably going to fail all my finals, but you know what? I'll do better next quarter. I hated all my classes this quarter, so I had like no motivation. But you know what? I'm gonna try to finish strong, but uh, I'll try harder next time. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm about to head back home from UCSD. So uh, today I got like completely destroyed on my chem quiz because uh, I fell asleep while studying and I tried to cram all last night, which is never a good idea. And then I stayed at campus to finish all my homework because, you know, it's kind of like a tone for my sins that I, I did today. So, yeah. So this morning I had my cadaver lab again and that was super tiring. We um, started dissecting into the shoulder. But yeah, it was super tiring because our body had a lot of fascia, a lot of fat, and so we just had to take a lot of time to cut it off. After class, I went to run a few errands. Errands for me is basically just returning a bunch of stuff, but of course I end up just looking around the store, so I spend way more time in there than I should. I just got out of work, and I'm on my way to UCSD for a dang review session. So Nevin's with me at my review session. I have no idea why, but... Keeping me company. But what he chooses to do with his no, time here... No, but like, he's, he's so handsome though. He's so handsome. Look at that, look at, no, look, look at this. Look how handsome he is. Let me pull up images. That is one handsome man. That is the future of San Francisco football. Look at that, look at that jawline. I feel like he likes Jimmy Garoppolo more than he likes me. Can you blame me? Hey guys, so it's another day and I just got home from school, but I stopped by Yogurt Land and my friend actually gave me a hookup, so free yogurt. Right now, I'm on a mission to get some In-N-Out for my girlfriend. I'm actually surprised because In-N-Out's line was usually really, really long, but there's only one car ahead of me, so I guess I got lucky. 
I have a cheeseburger without onion, a french fry, a medium pink lemonade, and cider spread to go. Yep. Anything else I can get for you? That's fine. 641, first window, please. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I have a cough drop in my mouth right now, but um, the best sibling duo is out here. Lisa, come on. I'm trying to text. Hi, Mia. Oh. <laughs> Look at my mom run. <laughs> so we're, um, it's Friday, but we're going to church because we are celebrating the Immaculate Conception. Go, Lisa, go. Okay. Hurl. <laughs> All right, so I'm here uh, getting the homeland food. Bob. Hi. Yeah. So where are we right now? Kazao uh, for Is this the is this the best pho, man, or no? Here is the, the best, not the best of the best, but it's the best. Where's the best pho? I don't know. Here, it's, I just like, Vietnam. Uh, in Vietnam, no, in uh, maybe in uh, Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I get tired of pho sometimes because it's just a whole bunch of hot water and you just have to blow it for the longest time ever. So I got the in and out and look at the bag. Ooh, already in the holiday spirit. That looks really good. I wish I could eat it. You actually brought me some. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Whenever you go to in and out you have to get spread because spread's like the best. So I went to look at Christmas lights. Check it out. Ah, the chip! <laughs> I blend in. <laughs> Look at my sugar daddy. You getting me a gift? Chilling here at Brendan's house. No, Brandon's I'm gonna house. ship it to him. I, With I've little been, King. I, hi. I've been talking Say to him hi. a lot. Yeah, I just talked to him a couple days ago. She's actually a rat, <laughs> not a cat. I know. I wanted to see his kid. Look at this pouty face, and then look at this pouty face. <laughs> okay, let me take a quick break from studying. So a popular trend that I really hate is Birkenstocks. Yeah, the shoes. I just feel like whoever like came up with the trend just went through their dad's closet and was like, dang, let me try these on as a joke. And they're like, you know what? They're kind of cute. And then it just became a thing. I didn't even know they still existed. Like I thought they were done after like 2003. I don't know. I got a lot of friends that wear them. They look like okay sometimes, but for the most part, I don't get it. They're like really clunky looking and like, I don't know, just... So I just got a review session and it's super late. Um, I'm just gonna go home now. So an unpopular opinion that I have... I don't like Adele's music. It's so sad. I get that that's the point of her music, to like make it sad and emotional, whatever. But when I listen to it, it legit makes me feel like depressed. I don't even want to like talk about it more because I haven't met a single person who doesn't like Adele's music. So let's just keep this unpopular opinion, you know, low-key. You know what, maybe I just have a terrible fa like fashion sense and uh, I need to get on this Birkenstock trend. Yeah, probably not. Don't even get me started on mom jeans. You know what, let me ask my dad about them because I swear he had a pair. Bull? No. Long time yeah, I have one. Now I need one. 
No, 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 no. Check out Groot in the back. <laughs> he seatbelted in. A little gift for Desiree. Come on, cute. Hi, girl. We got you some Starbucks. Thank you. And then we have another surprise. Uh oh. It's an early Christmas. It's just, it's your Christmas gift. It's from, from me and Daniel. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyes. It's not a dog or anything. <laughs> Shh. Wait, wait, wait. Open. <laughs> it's Groot! I'm sorry. We saw it at Target like a oh, Daniel's idea. I'm sorry about your hand. Thank you. Do you love it? It's Groot! It's Groot! Make sure the press is on it. I did not expect her reaction to be like that. No! Look, I have a cuddle buddy. Oh, uh, what about me? I have a cuddle buddy. <laughs> Thanks for. Oh, I'm really white. I'm white as a ghost. Okay. Now I'm at the all night party at my church, which is going till 6 a.m., but I'm going home because it's 4 a.m. and I'm old. <laughs> So something that is the least popular opinion that I kind of believe in. So like a lot of the music on the radio is right now, like all that pop music, EDM type of like stuff on the radio, you know, mainstream music. Yeah, a lot of my friends, people I hang out with, they're like, oh, I don't like mainstream music. Oh, mainstream music? Really? You like mainstream music? Or like, oh, oh I hate this song, so, so overplayed. You know, but a lot of the songs on the radio that are considered mainstream, I actually think is pretty darn good and catchy. Yeah, so that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe because we're doing this every day. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Say bye, Groot. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.